Santa Barbara. Just could probably get in the outside of Santa Barbara. And I don't miss the big cities at all. Traffic's real heavy. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon. But I guess you're gonna live in the big cities. This is what you deal with. It's like our V Adventure TV likes to stay out of the big cities. It's hard on the vehicle. People dive in and out on you. They see an opening because we gotta leave a lot of room, so if we have to stop fast we can, but they'll dart in and you just better hope that you can stop. But that's what happens in the big city. That's why we like to be out in the middle of nowhere, taking all the side streets, back roads. Sometimes you just gotta do this to get to point A to point B. So we'll make it through it, hopefully. Catch up with you on the other side. We're probably 70 miles from the Arizona border, I'm guessing. So stay tuned. All right, we are still on Interstate 10. Pretty close to Palm Springs. But you can see they've got some uh, generation going on some mills there's a bunch of them out here just went over the top a little hill a little mountain but uh it's something to see it's a lot of them i mean they're forever look at them yep so coming up i think this is yucca valley or something like that It's, uh, came on this side is 94 degrees so it warmed up definitely warmed up yeah palms and yucca valley this exit so anyway we're in the desert we'll no be offense. in the desert for a while no offense but i wouldn't want to live here yeah, you, got, you just got to love the desert in order to live there. We've talked about it before in, in uh, season one about being in the desert. You just got to like all that stuff. but uh, All the dirt. <laughs> we're trees and green, but hey, a little bit of it makes you appreciate what you uh, really enjoy and what you got. So That's true. We're going to have a good time up here. See if they can, uh, we can get in, hopefully we get into Quartzsite late this afternoon, find some BLM land, see who's hanging around there, see if anybody we know, see if uh, anybody's started anything yet, but anyway, plan on boondocking there for a while, just chilling out, relaxing, enjoying it, save some money. We'll be spending a bunch of it staying at uh, the RV parks in uh, Phoenix and Tucson because it's tough to boondock this thing, this big thing in uh, Phoenix. They don't really allow you going into Walmarts and stuff like that. So, so anyway, we'll catch you up down the road. We're not done yet. We getting there. Hey, we're still on. Interstate 10 East, and you look to the right right there, you can see some small palm trees, so if you ever wondered how they get so big, well, it looks like they got palm tree farms out here. They start small and grow them big. But we're coming into Blythe. It's about 5 o'clock. Temperature is 99 degrees, so it decided to be hot in the desert. So we don't know if we're going to be boondocking or if we're just going to go find a cheap campground in Quartzsite and wait for it to cool down. Uh, we think we can get one for $12 a night. We don't know what it's like, but we're going to find out. I mean, for $12 a night with full service, uh, I can see that working and sitting out moondocking somewhere. Spending $10 in gas. Yeah, and, 
and then have to run two air conditioners because it's so hot. If you didn't have to run air conditioners, it wouldn't be that big a deal. So, so I'll just give you a little update. It's been a long day. We left this morning at 10 o'clock. It's now 5 o'clock. We should be up here shortly and uh, we'll get back to you when we get into the quartzite. Alright, here we are. Leaving the great state of California. The high price of fuel and gas. Headed to Arizona. We hope it's a little cheaper. Golly, unleaded, it's two nineteen. Two dollars and nineteen cents for unleaded. It was two forty seven back there in California. Made it to Arizona. So far, so good. Oak State Trooper had to talk to somebody. Somebody got a high speed driving award. We've seen a lot of them though. Yeah, in the last 20 miles, it's the most most highway patrolman we've seen uh, since we left Louisiana. Yeah, so the past six months. So, uh, I guess uh, from the last uh, 30 miles or 40 miles from California over to here, they're liking it. Which we enjoy. We're going roughly 60 miles an hour. We're not in too much of a hurry. We are, but we're not going to go that fast. California speed limit's 55 miles an hour for vehicles towing a trailer and trucks, so I'm assuming that includes us. But we're here in Arizona now. Might be able to go a little faster. All right, courtside. Next stop, we hope. <laughs> 